Charlie Cook's favorite book. The author writes the words, the illustrator draws the pictures. Once upon a time there was a boy called Charlie Cook who curled up in a cozy chair and read his favorite book about a leaky pirate ship that was very near that very nearly sank and a pirate chief who got the blame and had to walk the plank. The chief swam to an island and went digging with his hook. At last he found a treasure chest and in it was a book about a girl called, called Goldilocks and three ind indignant bears who cried, who's had our porridge and who's been sitting in our chairs? They went into the bedroom and baby bear said, look, she's in my bed and what is more, she's got my favorite book. About Sir Percy Pingleton, a bold and fearless knight who told the dragon, wait, I'm not quite ready for a fight. You must hear this one first. And then his armor clanked and shook as he read aloud a joke he'd found inside his favorite book. About Rowena read, read a lot, a very well-read frog who jumped upon a lily pad and jumped upon a log and jumped into the library and stood beside the brook and went read it, read it, read it as she jumped upon a book. About an oak tree full of birds, each bird had built a nest and they had a competition to decide which one was best. They chose an owl to judge it and the winner was a rook whose nest was lined with pages from his very favorite book. About a girl who saw a flying saucer in the sky, some small green men were in it and they waved as they flew by. She tugged her mother's sleeve and, and said, look mum, what I've just seen. But mum said, hush, I'm trying to read my very, very favorite magazine. About a wicked jewel thief who stole the king's best crown, but then got stuck behind some sheep with which slowed his car ride down. The king got on the phone and soon the cops had caught the crook and flung him into the prison where he read his favorite book. About a greedy crocodile who got fed up with fish and went on land to, to try and find some kind of favorite, some kind of dish. He went into a bookshop, and here and there he grew even greedier while reading on page 90 of a large encyclopedia. About the biggest birthday cake the world had ever seen, a team of royal, royal cake makers had made it for the queen. The cake was so delicious that a famous spaceman took it, a slice up to, of it to Jupiter. He also took a book about a ghost who glided round a castle every night, carrying her head and giving everyone a fright. She kept it up till morning when she would find a shady nook and put her head back on again and read her very favorite book. About a cozy armchair and a boy called Charlie Crook.